movie movies and welcome to another smash light section where I talk about like literally anything I'll just talk about anything and uh, today we're gonna talk about not being ossified in our beliefs and treating those who are with love respect and inclusion to the scientific discussion as we have this mission that's publicly visible here at smashamash.com slash forum slash mission so let's talk about not being ossified in our beliefs it's going to be a theme here yeah a theme whether it's about inflation about cosmic ray flux or about science itself let's talk about well what the heck is that well i'm not showing you all right i am showing you you're wondering what that is that, my friends, is the Gaminga Pulsar. Why? Because today's featured transient is the Gaminga Pulsar. Here's the X-ray flux from it. Gaminga, like crab, is a very consistent X-ray source, probably occasionally used to calibrate X-ray telescopes. And there you can see the fairly constant output from Gaminga Pulsar. If you want to look up transients yourself, they're monitored daily by this site, the Neil Gorel Swift Observatory. If you want to look up what's going on at Sagittarius A star, hit Control F, type SGR space A, and there's Sagittarius A star. There are the transient outbursts from the core of the Milky Way. The massive radio source located at the center of the galaxy, sometimes referred to by some people as a supermassive black hole. I prefer to just say supermassive radio source as that is sufficient. So let's talk about cosmic rays. When you fly flights around the Arctic, and I, I've actually done this myself because I flew from, from Allentown to Chicago, from Chicago to Dusseldorf, and from Dusseldorf back to Chicago, and from Chicago back to Allentown. And those are included in hot flights as I flew over part of Greenland on the way back from Germany. If you want to watch daily hot flights, these are based on the amount of cosmic ray dose that you'll receive on the flights. Check out spaceweather.com. Now this is the original site that I started doing solar forecasting with all the way back in 2003. So now you'll see this all over the science wire today, the corona mass ejection and sun diving comet and so on. And spaceweather.com is always fairly updated with its information listing stuff like the thermosphere and the Olu neutron monitor counts. Now we monitor multiple cosmic ray sources, uh, cosmic ray monitors on the channel, and we're not going to go through any specific ones today. It also shows near-Earth asteroids, and we didn't cover the story about the one that got closer than anyone ever seen before in the history of the universe, multiverse, ultraverse, plane of existence because it was just covered by everybody too much. Have you heard about the Dow Jones being reshuffled? Well, Exxon, Pfizer, and Raytheon are out of the Dow Jones Industrial Average, replaced by Salesforce.com, Amgen, and Honeywell. Why? It all has to do with Apple's four-for-one stock split, and if you weren't aware, well, you're welcome. Now, one of the things that this caused is the Dow to go up. So, in any case, the Fed, uh, I don't know what the Fed said yesterday, but apparently we already covered what they were going to say. And what they were going to say was that, hey, everybody, we're here to convince you that inflation's good. So, you know, we need banks to have their pockets lined, and we need giant corporations to have access to cheap money constantly to keep the stock market bubble inflated. <clears throat> so, in any case, we're thrilled to see the U.S. stock market recover. However, there are a lot of zombie corporations in there, such as Google, Facebook, and Twitter. And so, in any case, this is, a, this is more tech being added, essentially, to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. And again, the Fed is trying to justify the fact that the inflation rate is currently over 10%, as the U.S. has printed more money in the past three months 
than it has in the past 90 years. So in any case, if you're not aware, there's an article here on CNBC all about it. Dow rises more than 100 points, briefly turns positive for 2020, which is a good flint. It is a good thing. It is a good fling. The market is inflated by cheap money as the ultra cheap zero interest rate loans incentivize companies to purchase their own stock. Since centralization is dead, perhaps you'd like to check out Make Americans Free Again as it's uh, a site that I've recently become interested in as I am seeking legal counsel to square off against the government. Oh yeah, that's right. It's all about some hedges. And um, we're going to hedge we're going to hedge our liability by hiring attorneys. Because the next time code enforcement calls me or sends me a letter, we're just going to tell them to talk to the lawyers. So Make Americans Free Again has some legal resources that we'll be looking at. They've also got things like mask exception signs, which I, I find very interesting. Let's see what's going on with that. Mask exception signs. Now, I'm a huge fan of the idea of of uh, disclaimers. For instance, maybe use your use your shopper's card to uh, enter a store. They scan your card. They figure out that you've already signed a disclaimer saying you realize that you're at risk and you're not going to sue the grocery store because you caught COVID. Oh no, the COVID. Let's talk about the National Federation for the Blind. Now, we've had at least two viewers. We perhaps still have regular viewers who are blind. Cheers to you as they're probably well aware, since they're viewing videos on YouTube, that being blind is not a death sentence. There are lots of resources here in the National Federation for the Blind. Shout out to our blind viewers. It's nfb.org. If you want to check it out, perhaps donate. Or better yet, donate to smashandmash.org. But in any case, National Federation for the Blind providing all kinds of different resources for the blind. NFB.org. Now we are streaming live to Twitch as we do most days for the Daily Space Weather videos. And congratulations to us! Yes! We've got 50 followers on Twitch now, which is some sort of a milestone. Thanks to all of our YouTube viewers. If you are viewing on YouTube, perhaps you've never seen the videos before, please press like, subscribe, and notify. Leave us a comment. Let us know where you're located. Check out our playlists, by the way as there are cosmology segments in there. Perhaps you'd like to hear about the neutron star that behaves like a comet. Yeah, it's true. So just head to uh, youtube.com slash smashamash slash playlists and you'll find our playlists there, at least the ones that are publicly visible. The cosmology segments actually have 67 videos in there, including Ooh, the cosmology segment drinking game. Don't touch your face, huh? Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. What I'm talking about is, oh, what about fountains, not vacuums? I'm talking about M31, toroidal versus poloidal fields, long movies of the sun, fountains, not vacuums. Yeah, relativistic jets, blazars. Anyway, there is one. There it is. Neutron star comets. Were you aware that there is indeed a neutron star traveling at like 200, 140 kilometers per second? Yeah, it's pretty sketchy, folks. Anyway, if you want to hear all about it, check out our playlists, our cosmology segments, etc. We're also on BitChute, and there is exclusive content, such as this video about hydroxychloroquine. We've also got a VOIP line if you want to drop us a line. It's country code plus one, area code 610-936-9799. Check out smashamash.org to visit our links. We've got all kinds of social media links there. If you want to donate, we greatly appreciate it, and we need lots more support. Thanks to our patrons, and look for more affiliate links coming today. We've got an affiliate page. It's smashamash.com slash affiliate. And we only endorse products that we use, such as this lovely wand, where if you get scared and spooked about the COVID, you can just be like, hey, now, 
Now, if you if you'd be so kind as to ha, take that. There's also PPE there and supplements and all kinds of other things. Smashamash.com/affiliate. Those those goggles are. Shout out to Dr. Fauci. I guess he must have heard our heard our call when we said shut up, Fauci. Fauci, shut up. By the way, there's more about COVID coming. So don't go nowhere unless you're going to smashamash.com slash affiliate. Congratulations on surviving a global pandemic. Now, today I'm wearing the Smasher Price, my first Scamdemic shirt. It doesn't say Scamdemic. It says Smasher Price, my first pandemic. And it features a child, a la Fisher Price, trying to put a mask on the world. A highly ineffective process in order to prevent viral transmission. It's truly ridiculous. And we're waiting on some shirts from Teespring. Can't wait to receive these. It's gold, baby, gold. By the way, that's an inf infantile and ineffective response to the COVID. And it's ridiculous. We're going to get back to that in a minute. First, let's talk about the giant halo around Andromeda. Now, the M31 galaxy is pretty cool because of the orientation. It allows us sort of a view of its galactic nucleus without having the polaroidal field pointed right at us, so we're able to see it well. The point is, if you looked at this with the naked eye, the gas halo around M31, guess what? You're already inside of it, or at least it's already bumping into the Milky Way galaxy. Were you aware? Anyway, that's how huge the gas halo is. As more and more matter gets discovered, and dark matter becomes less and less relevant and more of a cartoonish joke instead of an aspect of actual cosmology. This was mapped using some special UV techniques here associated with 40 background quasars to try to resolve the gas density surrounding the Andromeda galaxy. If you want to read all about it, it's on SciTech Daily, a great piece on M31. The Andromeda galaxy, our closest neighbor, and I guess I've forecasted the future yet again by simply saying, all right, I'm out of here. I'm done with you, Milky Way galaxy. I'm done with you. Turns out moving to the Andromeda galaxy is a little bit easier than I thought. Were you aware of 7,000-year-old vast stone slabs discovered in Saudi Arabia? We're not exactly sure what they are. They apparently are connected with low walls. Some interesting archaeological finds there in Saudi Arabia. Now, I know people who've been to Saudi Arabia, and... I don't think he left the base. <laughs> he was a computer specialist for the FBI, and I think he just stayed on station the whole time. By the way, don't go to Saudi Arabia and drink booze. It could be unfortunate. <laughs> In any case, an interesting find here dating back to the Neolithic period. Right at the end of the Bronze Age, really. Right at the beginning of the Bronze Age, I guess you'd say. 7,000 years ago, yeah. So uh, possibly used for some sort of rituals or something, uh, maybe for public gatherings. Maybe that was their marketplace. Who knows? Vast stone monuments discovered in Saudi Arabia. Have you seen the video about Tsar Bomba, the largest thermonuclear device, the, the largest nuclear weapon ever built and detonated? It's 27, it was 27 feet long. It was dropped from a special Su-71 plane, specially fitted. Absolutely insane. A 50 megaton bomb. There's a 40 minute recently declassified video about it. Now, some of this footage has already been seen and some not. And if you haven't seen it, it's quite fantastic. I mean, not that detonating nuclear weapons is a good idea, but talk about some great footage. Just unbelievable. Now, the pilots didn't know if they were going to die or not. And they did indeed feel the shockwave as they attempted to fly away from the situation. I think it was detonated at like 
20 kilometers. It was de detonated far above the ground to try to avoid fallout. Let's talk about Dr. Ignatz Semmelweis. Dr. Ignatz Semmelweis was a 19th century Hungarian physician. And he figured out that you need to wash your hands. Well, guess what happened to him? He ended up dying in a mental institution because people didn't listen to him. As germ theory was not a thing yet, Semmelweis noted that washing hands greatly reduced infections, as at the time, doctors would tend to just go and do an autopsy and then go deliver a baby without washing their hands, wearing soiled garments and using soiled gloves. Doctors didn't believe what Semmelweis had to say, but guess what? Turns out washing your hands was legit. Now he didn't know why, because germ theory was not a thing yet, this great article here from Jeff Harris at the Ron Paul Institute for Peace and Prosperity, Sound Money, Decentralization, Term Limits, etc. And here ends your daily smash light section. Don't forget to hold those accountable who've screwed up before you vanish. Perhaps the government. Hey, that's an awful nice government you got there. Be a shame if it uh, shut down, huh? Huh? Ah, 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 ah.